This is a lesson in how to graph with Excel 2010. You can see at this point I've already put in the data and now I'm going to make the graph with it. So I highlight the data, choose insert. We always choose a scatter plot and we never have the lines connect. So your graph looks something like this when it's first made. Now we need to add a title and some axis labels. So I'm going to go up here, click on that, and then I can change it to be whatever I want it to be. So I'll click on this and change it to M&Ms. And I chose that because the X axis is always the first one, the first column, and the Y axis is always the second column. So I'll change that to telephones. Lastly, a, a chart title. And uh, I'll title this The Effect of M&Ms on Telephones. I've never found the purpose in this, so I'm just going to delete that. And there's your graph. Now in physics we always add a trend line to figure out what's happening here. So I right click on the data point and I go to add trend line. Once there I always choose linear and I want to display the equation in the R squared value. And then drag this so I can read it. So you can see the trend line there's the equation for the trend line, and then this is the R squared value. The closer this is to 1, the better the fit. This is a pretty good fit, although it may not be the best fit. And then lastly, I'll go and change this to reflect the different things that I've actually graphed. So my Y is telephones, so I'm going to put a T there, and I'm going to change the X to an M because my x-axis has M&Ms on it. If you want to know how to straighten this data and find the best fit, look for the next video on how to straighten a graph.